is that um, it doesn't interfere with your studies that uh, the hours you do are hours that would not interfere with your studies you know that's the most important but get that money by all means possible <laughs> by all legal means yeah, by all legal means possible sorry <laughs> Kim I'll be looking into you <laughs> I'm kidding I'm Now, let's talk about students' lives. Okay. You already said you, you thought you were going to be too cool for school. <laughs> how, yeah. was it like, how was it like making friends? Like engaging with other people? The student life? Okay. The activities? How was it like for you? Or how was it still like? I don't have friends from my course. <laughs> I believe you. I don't have a single friend. I do not know the name of... Okay, I know one name. Mm. One name. I, I, I don't know anyone else's name. And that's just it. Wow. I don't know. I don't know anyone. I mean, there are people that I see a lot because, like, we went, we, you know, we're in the same course. But I don't have, like, maybe someone I go to the cafeteria with or to the library with. Mm -hmm. Nothing of the sort. It was like that for me in the first years. Mm -hmm. And it was also because I was working a lot by the side. Mm -hmm. So once I finished lectures, I'm out for mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Once I finish, I'm out. I'm, often, I'm, like, I'm out. So I didn't even have time to socialize. Exactly. So when, when you're working at the same time studying, it's really, really, really hectic. Mm -hmm. It is so hectic. Mm -hmm. And we can't, it's either you're, you're studying, you're working, or you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's actually yeah. it. You don't even have time for a social life. It's, it's it. a luxury that those who are not working have because yeah. they can go out partying and everything. But your time is so limited. Mm -hmm. You have to. Yeah. That's one challenge. You, you cannot neglect and say, oh, I'll make friends. And But making friends, I think it's also kind of... For me, I was like, I was very, I was not really into the German culture that much yeah. when I started studying. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know what I was going to discuss. I wasn't even getting the jokes. Hmm. <laughs> they have different sense of humor. I was, I wasn't getting the jokes, yeah. and I was still in contact with my Ghanaian friends. Mm -hmm. So I would rather go to uni and come back in the evening and chat with my friends yeah. or something. Yeah. And I, I did have Ghanaian friends, but they were outside of uni, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, but now I do have a beautiful squad full of brilliant, intelligent girls from Perfect. my course. So, that's yeah, shout out <laughs> Nabila, to Simke, to Gurkham, to Mina. I, just, I really forgot Mina's name. <laughs> I'm sorry. But shout out to you girls. And of course to Dennis, she's a, she's a new add-on to our group. So, hi. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, study together, have this exchange and... You know. It's important. If mm -hmm. you can make friends, please do make friends. It's, it's so important. Mm -hmm. It enhances your whole uni experience. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just do it. And sometimes you have to work and your friend would be the one who would have time. Take notes. They, they take notes, they tell you when the deadline yeah. is. And look for genuine people. Like, Thank you. When it comes to law, we start competing with each other even in the first semester. Like mm -hmm. People actually rip pages out of the book so you wouldn't find where the real information is. Wow. It, the library you told them the book has been hidden. Wow. The librarians can help you find it. It's okay. it's a battlefield basically. Mm -hmm. So once you find good, truthful friends, keep them. Yeah. And yeah. So definitely friends. Right. And get smart friends. Yes. <laughs> like in Stuttgart I didn't really have I um, I don't have friends like at uni but like where I used to study in Braunschweig or Osnabrück and other places, I always like kind of had a squad. Mm -hmm. But for me, it wasn't really enhancing my uni experience. They were quite for the party. Yeah, they were like, you know, some people are just in uni for like an experience, and then many of them just dropped out. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so then at the end, you're just like, oh, okay. So I'm now what? Do I, I'm on my own. You understand? Mm -hmm. You must understand that everybody's uni experience is a personal experience it's okay if you have people on the side you know to like push you on and cheer you on that's mm -hmm. good but don't forget what you are there for yeah that's why i wasn't so big this time in stuttgart you know socializing or making friends um but also for my study program we've got too many i'm sorry not too many we've got many old people We've got grandpas and people's wives, people who are doing their third master. What? For what? I do not know. 
Yes, we've got a lot of old people. We've got people who immediately after lecture they're gonna pick their child from the from child care, you understand, from daycare or whatever. Everyone is busy. Um in Ghana, you know if you're going to uni level hundred, level two hundred, you're gonna meet your age mates. Yes. For here you might meet someone who's maybe doing his third bachelor. Mm someone who's married, someone who maybe is yes. just there. We, we also have, um, we hire those uh, guests, you understand? Yeah. People who you come, guess them, yeah, yeah you guests, who just come to like, see how the uni experience would be for them if they'd ever decide to go to uni. Mm. So people are there for very different purposes. So it's kind of hard sometimes to find someone who's there for the same reason as you. So that I kind of connect with and um, go through this whole uni experience mm -hmm. with. Yeah. Because in my course, sometimes I do see the guests, like, mm -hmm. they're, like, people from all walks of life. Yeah. Like, you can even tell from the appearance that mm -hmm. they're just guests. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to exam time, I don't see the older people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe one, two. So okay. that's why I'm so surprised your course has so many of them. Even during the exams, you see so, them. Yeah, some of them. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you do see them. Oh. And <laughs> it's so cute because... They are always the ones sitting in the front. <laughs> and like for me, when I come, I'm like going straight to the back. Yeah. And like for them, they're like, you know, so, uh, so cute. So on it. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what's the situation with finding an accommodation, your living situation? Mm -hmm. Have you had experiences or have you always had the same type of um, accommodation? Uh, no, so... So recently, I was always living in a shared flat. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I have a policy. I, I don't want to live in a student in Vornheim. Yeah. That's um, a student hostel, mm -hmm. usually provided by the state or by the uni. Um, simply because I'm not a fan of sharing bathrooms <laughs> with yeah, I get strangers. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather like have, I don't know, a couple of flatmates, my own bathroom, or like people I know are clean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, before I got my apartment, I was staying with five strong guys. <laughs> yeah. It's a life. <laughs> it's giving in. Um, it wow. was really hard finding an apartment. I literally had to come to Stuttgart uh, prior to my um, st uh, Study studies. Here. Yeah, uh, for a week, I I had a, I had an Airbnb and I had I just dedicated that time to like. Finding a mm -hmm. place looking at places. Yeah, looking at places finding a place. Wow. It's not that easy uh, The student hostel is the cheapest option. Mm -hmm. It's the cheapest option. I mean um, It's good if like, you know, you you can't you're trying to be a bit economic It's good. Um, but you have to apply at least six months in advance so, I told you all the students visa video. So yeah you have to apply six months in advance, so do not think you have gotten admission and you're coming to Germany. You just like walk in and say, oh, you need a place and you'd be handed one. Mm -hmm. There's a long list of applicants and they will notify you if there's a place, mm -hmm. if, there's, if there's vacancy. It can happen in your second semester, it can happen in your third semester. Wow. You understand? You might go see the place and you'll be like, no, I don't want this. Then they'll be like, okay, then you've got to wait. When something else is free, we'd notify you. So since the list is so long, somebody else will take it. Yeah, anyways. exactly. Wow. So probably you'd end up staying in a shared flat, which is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Sometimes you get really nice people. Yeah. And you become lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're unlucky and you end up like me with five boys who smoke weed and um, every day. <laughs> You wake up in the morning and smell weed. Oh mm -hmm. no, that's not pleasant. Yeah, I did it's a mistake. Really they weren't students, so um, they were on a whole different trip. <laughs> on a whole different trip, <laughs> it was a bit hard, and they're quite dirty. Oh no! So yeah, yeah. Now where I live, it's a one room. Is it a one room? Yeah, it's a one room apartment. Mm -hmm. It's spacious. It's okay for one person. Could even accommodate two people, mm. but um, yeah, it's a bit pricier. But it's manageable if you if you can get a job on the side, yeah. you can totally finance that. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants that type of accommodation to live Definitely. alone, so it's a bit hard to get as a student. Yeah. But um, I'm about to finish my study program, and I literally just got it. So mm -hmm. 
yeah so accommodation is hard it is it is hard but it depends on your city as well yeah stuttgart it's quite hard as compared to um other cities and stuttgart is expensive so expensive it's expensive i think it's right after munich yeah, yeah. stuttgart is so expensive the accommodation is so expensive as yeah. well so plan for that definitely mm -hmm. if you can stay home with your parents and go to uni do it if you can't then toy yeah. toy toy yeah the worst part is if you start if you get an apartment or a place and you cannot keep up with the rent mm -hmm. and you are forced to move out and then you are low on cash because you've been spending it all on your rent um don't do it to yourself rather get a small place that is just enough for you where you feel okay mm -hmm. and then see if after some time you could do better and get a better place but don't yeah. rush for something that you can't maintain who are you even competing with right. at the end of the day yeah. you have to be comfortable yeah what you can pay yeah and um what what i want to say like with the accommodation thing i just lost my thoughts <laughs> i just lost it it will come back it will come back but you were talking about getting a job mm -hmm. and it being difficult to find mm -hmm. how is it all kinds of jobs or no um as a student there are many jobs that you can do it depends on you the person if you're not picky you do anything you can you know at the end of the day honestly don't i've done all manner of jobs before i've been through it and there are certain things that i have told myself i won't do again mm. but at the time that was how i was making my money mm. and it served its purpose you understand mm. be it waitressing or um i don't know working at mcdonald's mm -hmm. you're definitely gonna find a job the most important thing is that um, it doesn't interfere with your studies, that uh, the hours you do are hours that would not interfere with your studies. You know, that's the most important, but get that money by all means possible. Mm -hmm. By all legal means. <laughs> yeah, by all legal means possible, sorry. Cam, <laughs> I'll be looking into you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, because... Um, one of the that's when, when you need the language as well. Mm -hmm. It's not every job that you can do that you yeah. need the language, right? Yeah, exactly. I think McDonald's is like really open when they're hiring. I've met so many McDonald's workers that like cannot speak a German. German. Yeah. So, um, but, but they don't work at Casa, right? They don't work at the, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. Or waitressing or um, hostessing. Mm -hmm. You know, at I don't know. Messer, what's messer yeah. in English? Uh, the like trade fairs, fairs, yeah, yeah, and stuff like that. Really comfortable student jobs that you could do. Sometimes you are lucky; you can get a paid internship yeah. at Daimler, Mercedes, everybody's dream. They didn't take me, you. They didn't take Reggie either. So oh, I didn't even apply there. Actually, <laughs> they only take the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Then the only internship I did at Daimler was not paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wow. to get yeah, but at least it's on your CV. Yeah. So, but go for it. Go for Bosch. Go for Siemens. Go for Daimler. Who knows? Male. Yeah, mm -hmm. do mm. it. Do it. Yeah, cause and one thing is always check your university website. Mm -hmm. Cause I have applied to jobs not even from my university, from her university. <laughs> because you would think, oh, they are it's a technical university, they wouldn't have mm -hmm. it, but they have stuff for legal students. Yeah. So don't limit yourself to your, your only like to only your university because mm -hmm. Tübingen has so many for law students, even from the faculties and everything. But I'd rather go out okay maybe because I prefer working in Stuttgart, mm -hmm. so Stuttgart University would have more yeah. for me. But like apply everywhere and mm -hmm. look um, at the web pages or the websites of the universities. They also have like a. A job buzz, I haven't forgotten the name. Like they offer jobs and the companies actually offer their jobs on their platform. Yeah. Yeah. So they have platforms for jobs. Mm -hmm. Look into that definitely. Yeah. And get yourself a job. Mm -hmm. And as you said, and also the thing is, there is a minimum wage. And if you're working twenty hours a week and it's a job that allows you to work Sunday and Saturday, then you do eight two times eight hours. That's already 16 hours Damn. and then one day you do like a part-time like a, a half day like a four-hour day mm -hmm. um during the week you already have your 20 hours mm -hmm. and if they are told to be giving to be giving you i don't even know what the minimum wage is now nine i think it's 950 950 times yeah. 60 then you pay your insurance mm -hmm. sometimes you have to pay it yourself it's like 100 and, 105 i really? think depends depends on where you are okay. i think i can't cast it it's 105 mm -hmm. 
I don't remember, I don't know everything, but for example, then you pay your rent, and that, as Kim said, live within your means. It gives you so much peace of mind, yeah. live within your means. Yeah, so if yeah. you know you're getting 800 at the end of the month, or 1,000 at the end of the month, you don't go for it in an apartment that costs 700. What did they do you? <laughs> But there are people who do the little one yeah. you'll be crying and, they, and, and I'm they like be eating. No <laughs> really I need my food. Eat. <laughs> Another thing like, is like utilize your vacations. Mm -hmm. Work during your vacations. There's so many vacation jobs, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where like they literally employ you mm -hmm. as though you were a full time worker. Yeah. You can work your forty hours. You make that cash. Sometimes two semesters you don't even need to work. Yeah. Understand because you've got some money laid Stash back money, and you can yeah. con con uh, like, concentrate on your studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like my previous employer, he could he gave us that opportunity that you could work like a full time um, employee mm -hmm. in the summer vacation and also I think in February. Yeah. in March yeah. and when when it's basically when it was vacation you could work as a full-time mm -hmm. um, person but as you said take advantage of it mm -hmm. and work and also try not to do like work black like black jobs mm -hmm. make sure it's registered because sometimes you can get in some kind of accident yeah. and they'll be asking you who is your employer mm -hmm. and then your insurance wouldn't have to pay but the big like the insurance of your company that yeah. has to pay so Please, please make sure that it's registered, okay? Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Of course, you would earn less, but your peace of mind is paramount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My That's own true. two cents. That's true. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say something. Uh huh. Yeah. So, to, uh, to the hustlers amongst you, those that are like, oh, I can work more than 20 hours. You are not allowed to work more than 20 hours as a student. You lose your student's <laughs> privilege. That's true. You can only work 20 hours. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact that um, international students, can work only, I don't know, a really know. like about they work less yes, hours. I think it's 120 full days, yeah, in a year, in a year, uh, but they can work full time during uh vacations, yeah. yeah. Um, that's because that's why you need the blocked account, you know, mm -hmm. the blocked account, the with the, yeah, yeah, with the I think a minimum of 8,000 euros. Um, it's 753 times 12 or 83 times 12, I forgot, but. Mm -hmm. The video is already up, so oh, okay. I'll link it somewhere. Yeah, so because that's why they they need you to be financially stable. That's why you have to block the account where you can withdraw seven hundred and fifty euros a month to pay your um, insurance, your rent, have some food whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, most of your working, if you're an international student, would be during the vacation. Yes. Start searching during the semester yes <laughs> because it takes quite some time yeah I, I apply immediately if yeah. you just get here yeah and one thing too is if you want to save money stop eating out okay sis <laughs> stop. stop eating out there is nothing wrong with saying hey i'm going to make myself stew i'm going to cook jollof meal prep stop eating out at least reduce it and cafeteria food is quite cheap. Mm -hmm. I think it's three twenty or. $3. It's cheap, but if, like it's cheap, but if you do it a lot, it's expensive. Yes, even that is expensive. And so. it makes you fat. I I promise, cafeteria food. But really I would they give us broccoli at hours. <laughs> broccoli okay. and this little bowl of salad. My cafeteria. Okay, maybe it's what I choose to eat. <laughs> My cafeteria, we have burgers, we have pizza, we've got a pasta bar. Oh, wow. Yes. Are you hearing? We've got a pasta bar, we've got potatoes. Like, they really do spoilers. Mm. And of, uh, there's also a salad bar, of course. Yeah. You understand? But I mean, if you see and smell pizza, <laughs> I, I doubt you. Okay, sometimes I go for the salad, but the salad is the dessert now, not the main meal. <laughs> <laughs> Sip. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> you know what? Ours also has the salad bar mm -hmm. and the pizza. Mm -hmm. It's actually like the whole floor dedicated to pizza. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other one for the regular food mm -hmm. and Tiger's menu and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. One thing is for me, I feel like I don't know what is going into the food. Yeah. 
even when I go out to restaurants, I'm really fast. I don't even want to see what is in the kitchen because I just don't want to know because I know it would just upset me. Yeah. So I'd rather eat and I, I bring my food with me. And there's always a microwave in the yeah. cafeteria for you mm -hmm. to microwave your food. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about student job. Mm -hmm. What about the benefits of being a student? Okay, now let me tell you something. <laughs> give us give us the good news. Okay, first of all, Stuttgart is shy, so okay, when it oh. comes to the uh, student ticket. <laughs> okay, yes. It is. Yes, that has to, that has to show me. It is. Like, it's so, um, usually, mm -hmm. where, so where I've studied, which is Braunschweig, Osnabrück, uh, which is in Niedersachsen, mm -hmm. more popular cities that belong to Niedersachsen are maybe Hannover, you know, and Co. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you have the student ticket, which is given to you by the school after you pay, um, it's not tuition. What is it? Administrative fees. The administrative like, uh, fees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is given to you. You can literally travel through the whole state free of charge. Sounds you like can travel music. to Bremen. You can sh travel to Hamburg. You can travel to Hanover, Osnabrück, everywhere with the original train. The buses in the cities you but travel not ICU, to. Though. No, you can't take IC. Come okay. on, relax. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> so that that's so cool because transportation can get really expensive. Mm. In Stuttgart, you can literally well after paying your administrative fees, you pay another two hundred euros to get a Studi ticket, which is the, that ticket, and it's only valid for Stuttgart. Your own is 200, right? Yeah. Mine was 400. Why? Because even though Tübingen is in the region of Baden-Württemberg, Tübingen yeah. has a different bus system mm -hmm. or public transport system, the Naldo. And it, Naldo basically stretches almost as far as to Konstanz, right? So, um, Donau Eschingen, das alles Naldo, mm -hmm. Tutlingen. So, you buy Naldo for 99 euros, that is for all students. Mm -hmm. Or was it 90? I think it's... It could be 90. I don't remember. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think it was 99. Okay. And then you buy S Angelo's ticket. So she has the regular S for 200. Mm -hmm. But the S extension ticket is 300. Mm -hmm. Make that make sense. That's mad. That's... And so at the end of the day, you pay 600, 400 for six months. But if you compare how much the ticket costs, like... A daily trip from Stuttgart to Tübingen is like 21, 10, 50, and then out is like 21 euros. Mm -hmm. You're paying 400 for six months. It's, it's kind still of makes sense. Better, but, but still, y'all fix it. Th that, that, that definitely needs to be looked at. Yes, yeah. that's too much. Fix it. Because it, I think NLV is also. NLV is also, yeah. NLV is also. So, Düsseldorf and Cologne. Brandenburg is Genau, so I have no idea what's happening here. Like, I was so shocked. Mm -hmm. The literally my first day of uni, because they give you this card, where, I didn't even know, it's only valid for after six and after Yeah, the, your ID is still, your ticket after, yeah. after six p.m. But my lectures don't take place after six p.m., so that was like and totally useless to me. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the fir literally the very first day, I entered the train, there were like those controllers. Mm -hmm. And I just showed them, you know, with confidence, I'm a student, though. They're like, nee, uh, it's not great, I'm going to end on 18 uh, I was like, Bitte was? Oui. <laughs> and they're like, no, like, yeah, um, you need to buy uh, tickets, because you take it for 200 euros. And I was like, wow, I'm new here, I did not know this. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, okay, um, get down, buy a ticket, and, get and take the next train. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, that's that's actually one disadvantage of being in Stuttgart. Stuttgart. But even then, because you're a student, you pay less you than the less. regular workforce or the regular person. Yeah, and you do know in Baden-Württemberg, Stuttgart, and Umgebung, international students, you do pay tuition. tuition. So, in the rest of Germany, you can study for free. So I do not understand why you would come here. I'm only here because I'm a German citizen, so I do not pay these. 1500 500. you understand otherwise i'd be anywhere else but stuttgart but, stuttgart. but you know stuttgart has is an elite university so all listen all universities in german in germany mm, are, elite. are elite i i promise you for real <laughs> yeah for real what you can do is like really look for you know if if you're more into something technical look for a university that 
has re like you know technical resources mm -hmm. stuttgart has is the university of stuttgart has very good uh how many how do you call it facilities mm -hmm. when it comes to anything technical yeah that's They're true. known for that yeah. yeah if you go to heidelberg everyone knows it's a superb medicine. medical university but don't pressurize yourself whether you go to a university in Hanan, Münster, mm. or Berlin, or Hamburg, you understand? All that know it's the same. It's the same. You can go to a Hochschule. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when, when I watch Ghanaian movies, I know it's not real life, but when mm. I watch Ghanaian, even on Ghanaian Twitter, right, you have the impression that these students have a lot of time <laughs> compared to German students. Mm hmm yeah i think so too so i think that's just the truth if you guys are gonna be honest like you guys you guys chill through uni for real like you guys only get serious the very at the very last part of uni where you like have to write your final papers mm -hmm. and your thesis before any jenkwa to be very honest and like even some of these things like pens pens on the campus right yeah pens that's a private it's a private hostel private hostel yeah and they have these like I'll be honest, they'll be talking about pens and pens all week. Ye yes, and they'll mm. have artists performing. Shall hey. So I went to Ghana. <laughs> eh? I went to Ghana. My best friend was uh, in Pent at the time, mm -hmm. and I spent like almost my whole trip at a place because it was just so lit. It was so fun. Yeah. Even if there was nothing happening on campus, either people are fooling outside or there's something going on mm -hmm. in another hall or this or that or that. It was so... I just loved it. Just the fact that, you know, the person living next to you is a student mm -hmm. and the person living after that is a student. It's just so much fun. Yeah. yeah. But here you don't have that. You Especially if you're not living on campus. Yeah. You don't have that. You don't have that. Yeah. yeah. So the last point you already actually touched on it with the yeah. language that you said allocate time purposely to make sure your language gets better. You have yeah. a bigger, better command of the language. Mm -hmm. So what have what has your language learning process been? Has mm -hmm. it you, have you seen great improvements? Because you were born here. Yeah. You you did your consular here, then you went to Ghana to do your JHS and SHS, mm -hmm. and then you came back. Did you lose something? Uh, while I was in Ghana, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, the German I knew when I moved to Ghana was primary German. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not the same German I would need for uni. Mm -hmm. So my English was superb. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> but, you can but, hear it. <laughs> but my uh, German, there was a lot lacking because I didn't go through Hauptschule or Abitur and all of that, like all those things that would actually like enrich my German mm -hmm. and give me the vocabulary that I would need for uni. Mm -hmm. um, because I already knew what I wanted to study at the time, which was medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, when I was in student, when you go to student colleague, the abitur thing you write it's you you study the subjects you want to study in uni mm. so because i wanted to study medicine i studied biology chemistry physics mm -hmm. and math and they really help you with the technical language for those courses oh that's good yeah so um that really helped mm -hmm. that really helped um after a year of doing that because you go to school five times a week mm -hmm. you understand uh, you do them as though you were in primary school you really do approximately eight hours a day of school mm -hmm. intensive german you're doing math in german you're doing physics in german chemistry biology everything in german mm -hmm. so after that year you do really feel fit mm -hmm. for uh, uni yeah. So you definitely recommend a student colleague for someone who is even coming to do masters, they can do it. Uh, you you can't, not everyone can apply for, for it. Yeah. It's only when you've, got, you've not had your first degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. And um, if your course is in English, if mm. your master is in English, you mostly only have to do B2. Mm -hmm. Just the proficiency. Yeah, just the proficiency to apply. Mm -hmm. But you do have to have, you, you need to have it down before mm -hmm. applying. Mm -hmm. uh, that back in the day, you could apply and the university would offer you German courses on the side. You don't do that anymore. So you have to have it down and then mm -hmm. apply with it. Otherwise, you'd waste your money. That's 75 euros or whatever. Understand? So, yeah. So, guys, the German language is...
That's A and O. It's the Alpha and Omega. Mm. Without when, it, you won't even get the job. You understand? Now they're really being stupid. <laughs> even if it's toilets you want to clean, they want you know some level of. Like I just had to leave, but for you and for others, mm -hmm. you need some German yeah. for yourself Definitely. and for the others. To be able to communicate. You need to be able to express yourself. You're mm -hmm. a foreigner in this country and there's already so much that you need to like, you know, adapt to. You're also socialize. Yeah, you need to <laughs> shut up, Reggie. Listen, Reggie, oh, hey, come in. Come and stand here. Come and say hi. Yes, come and say hi. <laughs> She's just like, you know, chanting come from and the say side, hi. right? <laughs> Yeah. But Reggie is saying that in order for you to be able to socialize, you need the language. Yeah, definitely. And even the other way around, like yeah, in order you for know, you to speak the language. You're if you have people to speak it with, you're gonna learn it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So of course, yeah. So yeah. There's a lot to say, but I think that's for the next video. So I'm just gonna keep it with that being <laughs> black in Germany. Be. Yeah. <laughs> right, because like some of us have been through some very traumatic experiences mm -hmm. yeah all right guys so we have come to the end of this week's video thank you so much i feel like we spoke so much yeah she mouth. has given us so much content we've given you content content <laughs> yeah and kim has given you real advice okay real <laughs> advice applying from outside as well because I applied from here. Things were easier for me, but you coming from the outside, mm -hmm. listen to Kim. Okay? Listen to, I don't listen to myself, but you listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you same time next week. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>